Hi, welcome to Gary's Mod. This is the eighth expression two tutorial. This time it's going to be an improvement to the previous project, which was a like hoverboard thing. Now it's going to hover better. So, what we're going to do is get out something to hover. I'm just going to use something nice and small, like an explosive oil drum, because you know why not. Let's see, make a new E2, of course. See, once again, we don't really need any of that stuff. All we need is a name. I'm going to call this the um, Hover Plate Mark 2, because of course it can be the Hover Plate, but better. So, let's see, inputs. All, all we really need is the target height, right? Because everything else we can do from this chip. So, of course, we want to start out with if first or dupe finish to make sure that it runs properly. So, we'll go ahead and do run on tick 1, because of course we want this thing to be running all the time, so that if the thing starts to go too low, we can bring it back up. Alright. Now, so what do we want to do? We want to get the entity, of course, and we want to apply force to it. Just like we did last time. However, this time we want it to be, like, more refined, so that's the perfect amount of force. So, vector. This is just for up and down, because it's hovering. We don't care about left, right, or forwards, or backwards. So we're just going to do zero, 0, for those two, because Z is the up and down direction. So, because we want to get to the target height, we want to do target height minus the entity position the Z coordinate, because that's where we're at, where it's Z, because Z is up and down. And let's end this, and then we're going to do times entity mass. And this way, it'll sort of scale it for the thing. And, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna set this thing up here, but it's not quite done yet, as you will see if you set this up yourself. It's a pretty quick and easy fix slash change. Let's see, a thousand is nice. Alright. So now we wire target height to this, and this is what it did last time. It shot it up, it fell back down, it shot it back up, and then it fell back down. Um, which is not really what we want, of course. We want it to, and uh, except for this time it, like, you know, wobbles around a bit more. But, what we want it to do is we want it to go up, and then stop going up. So, what we're, we're going to do is we're going to do minus. Yes, because, so, let's say, let's say it's falling down, right? If it's falling down, then its Z velocity is going to be negative, right? Because it's going down. If it's going up, it'd be positive. And if we're going down, we don't want to be going down, so we want to add the negative of the Z velocity so that we can use that to compensate for our own uh, movement, right? So, if we did plus entity vel z, this is the z velocity, this would be plus, but we don't want to do plus because that would just make it go down faster. We want it to go up if it's going down, and if it's going up, then it, and the z velocity will be positive, and we want it to go down, so we want to subtract it. And if it's not going anywhere, we'll just subtract zero. So now, let's put this down. When it goes up, you see it slows down once it reaches a thousand, and it hovers right here. This is what you want. You want it to do this. And because we made those two quick changes, it now works. So actually, I'm going to get out one of these blast doors, because what you can actually do with this is... Let's just set this here. I'm going to use a blast door rather than a oil drum, so that one, I can stand on, and two, it's less susceptible to, like, wobbling around. So let's put this on here. Okay, it's not quite powerful enough. Oh, right, of course, because... There we go. Because I was getting the mass of the E2 chip, not the actual prop. You see, once we get the mass of the actual prop, it's 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 a little like much, but it like dampens out, so it's okay. Um, and it's also not a perfect lift because it's lifting there from you know the the E2 chip rather than from the actual center of the thing, which is why it's you know why it looks kind of weird like that. You could of course make it lift from the actual thing by doing entity is welded to, like I did with the other thing. Apply force like that. And then you do this, and now it's lifting from the thing, so now it's more stable, you can stand on this, and you know, you don't, you don't die or anything, unless you flip it over, and then, you know, you're kind of screwed. But yeah, here is the improved hover plate, now it actually hovers properly, and also it, like, if I fling it that way, it keeps going that way, it just doesn't fall. So that's pretty cool, and you can do use this kind of stuff to do other things too, like if you didn't want it to move left or right, you could add, you could be like, well, instead of doing this, I'm going to copy out all of this stuff here. Mm, all of that. I don't actually want all of it. Let's say I want the X to do this. I'm, I'm just going to do the same thing here, except with the X rather than with the Y. 
I mean, the, rather than with the Z. So let's go X and X. And what what did I do wrong? Oh, am I missing a parenthesis or something? I think it's or something because. Yeah, g g give me a second. I'm gonna have to find out where I'm missing this parenthesis. All right. So start this one. This one. Wait, where? You mean, oh, I need a zero. Haha, <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, so if I wanted to... It, I mean, it's gonna fall now, right? But it just jumped over to here because now if I move it away, it's, it tries to move back. See, because right now this is X1000 and it's trying to stay there. More importantly, or not importantly necessarily, but more interestingly, you can use it to um, keep your pitch, yaw, and roll from moving. But I'm not gonna go over that this time gonna go over that next time and we're probably gonna build some sort of plane next time so that'll be you know pretty cool there won't be an actual plane but thanks for watching and goodbye